Hello there, horror fans. Welcome back to another episode of Real Real Talk, your one-stop shop for all things spooky and spine-chilling. I'm thrilled to have you join us for another hair-raising episode as we dive deep into the dark and twisted world of horror movies. Now, if you're new to the podcast, let me give you a quick rundown of what we're all about. Here at Real Real Talk, we're obsessed with all things horror, from classic thrillers to modern day nightmares. Each episode, we dissect a different horror film, discussing everything from plot twists to character development and beyond. Speaking of which, today's spotlight is on the 1951 classic, The Thing from Another World. This gem is a prime example of nuclear panic and earns a solid 8 of 10 on our scare scale, but hey, no spoilers here. We'll give you just enough to whet your appetite without giving away the farm. But before we jump into the extraterrestrial mayhem of The Thing from Another World, let's take a quick trip down memory lane with our last episode where we explored the campy delights of Intruder. If you missed out on that ride, fear not. It's lurking in our podcast archives, ready to give you goosebumps whenever you're in the mood for a good laugh. And hey, while you're soaking in all the horror goodness, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow us on Instagram and threads at Real Real Talk. If you got some killer movie recommendations or just dying to share your thoughts, shoot us an email at therealrealtalk at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. All right, folks, grab your popcorn and dim the lights. It's time to dissect the thing from another world and uncover the secrets of this sci-fi horror classic. Trust me, you won't want to miss this one. Let's get spooky. All right, buckle up, folks, because we're about to embark on a chilling journey into the frozen unknown with the thing from another world. Imagine this. You're thrust into the icy expanse of the Arctic Circle, where a team of scientists and military personnel find themselves entangled in a spine-tingling tale of extraterrestrial terror. It all starts innocently enough with the discovery of a crashed spaceship buried beneath the unforgiving ice. But as they unearth the alien vessel, they inadvertently awaken something far more sinister. The creature within, frozen and hungry for havoc. As tensions rise and paranoia sets in, the crew must grapple with their own fears and suspicions while battling to contain the otherworldly threat. But this is no ordinary monster movie. It's a pulse-pounding exploration of Cold War anxieties and the fear of the unknown, set against the backdrop of post-war America. The thing from another world taps into the collective paranoia of the era where the threat of nuclear annihilation loomed large and the idea of an extraterrestrial invasion was far more than just a sci-fi fantasy. What sets this film apart is its masterful blend of sci-fi intrigue and good old-fashioned horror. Sure, there's plenty of creature feature thrills to be had with the titular thing wreaking havoc on unsuspecting victims, but beneath the surface, there's a deeper exploration of human nature and the primal fear of the unknown. It's the kind of movie that keeps us on the edge of our seat from start to finish, with twists and turns that'll leave you gasping for breath. So if you're in the mood for a classic scare with a sci-fi twist, look no further than The Thing from Another World. So let's start by taking a look into the plot and storytelling of The Thing from Another World. One of the film's strengths of, lies in its gripping storyline, which expertly blends elements of sci-fi with classic horror. From the moment the crew discovers the crashed spaceship buried beneath the ice, the tension starts to ratchet up, setting the stage for a pulse-pounding showdown with an extraterrestrial menace. Now, when it comes to its weaknesses, some viewers might find the pacing a bit slow, especially by today's standards. The film takes its time building suspense, focusing more on character development and atmospheric dread than on nonstop action. But for those who appreciate a slow burn, this deliberate pacing only adds to the sense of impending doom. As for twists and surprises, The Thing from Another World has its fair share of unexpected moments that keep us guessing. Without giving too much away, let's just say that not everything is as it seems, 
and the true nature of the alien threat is revealed in a series of heart-pounding reveals. It's the kind of film that keeps you on your toes, never quite sure what's lurking around the next corner. What sets this film apart from others in the genre is its unique blend of that sci-fi intrigue and those horror thrills. While many monster movies, especially this time, focus solely on creature feature spectacle, this film dives deeper, exploring themes of Cold War paranoia and the fear of the unknown. It is a thought-provoking journey into the darkest corners of human nature, wrapped in a thrilling package of extraterrestrial terror. So if you're looking for a sci-fi classic that's as smart as it is scary, look no further than The Thing from Another World. Now let's move on to the characters and acting in The Thing from Another World. One of the standout aspects of this film is the performances of the main cast members. They bring depth and nuance to their roles and they elevate the overall viewing experience. First and foremost, we have Kenneth Toby as Captain Patrick Hendry, the brave and resourceful leader of the expedition team. Toby imbues Hendry with a commanding presence and a no-nonsense attitude, making him a compelling protagonist that we want to root for. His interactions with the rest of the crew, particularly his clashes with the scientific team led by Dr. Carrington, add depth to his character and highlight the tension simmering just below the surface. Speaking of Dr. Carrington, played by Robert Cornthwaite, he just serves as this fascinating foil to Captain Hendry. Where Hendry approaches the situation with a pragmatic military mindset, Carrington is more interested in studying and understanding the creature. Cornthwaite brings a sense of intellectual curiosity to the role, but also hints at a stubbornness that borders on reckless, especially as the danger begins to escalate. The supporting cast also delivers solid performances, each contributing to the ensemble dynamic in their own ways. Whether it's Dewey Martin as the level-headed crew member Bob, or Douglas Spencer as the wisecracking journalist Scotty, each actor brings something distinct to the table, enriching the characters that populate the film. And in terms of character development, The Thing from Another World does a commendable job of fleshing out its ensemble giving each character their own arc and motivations. We see Hendry evolve from a skeptical military man to a reluctant hero as he grapples with the enormity of the threat that's facing them. Similarly, Dr. Carrington's single-minded pursuit of knowledge ultimately leads to his downfall, serving as a cautionary tale about the unteched dangers of ambition. The dynamics between the characters also evolve over the film, as they confront the alien threat and the harsh realities of survival in an arctic wilderness, tensions run high as conflicting personalities clash, but ultimately they must set aside their differences and work together if they have any hope of survival. It's a classic tale of camaraderie and resilience in the face of adversity, and the performances of the cast help to bring this dynamic to life in a very compelling way. The characters and acting in The Thing from Another World are a major strength of the film, with the main cast members delivering nuanced performances that elevate the material, from Captain Hendry's steely resolve to Dr. Carrington's intellectual curiosity. Each character feels fully realized and adds depth to the narrative. It's a testament to the talent of these actors and the skill of the filmmakers behind the camera that these characters resonate with us all these years later. Her Ping from Another World dives into several underlying themes and symbolism that really add depth to the narrative and resonate with us on a much deeper level. One of the central themes of the film is the fear of the unknown and the dangers of unchecked scientific curiosity. The arrival of the alien creature at the North Pole base sparks a sense of dread among the characters as they grapple with the implications of ET presence on Earth, that alien among us, 
They fear, this fear is all amplified by the lack of understanding of the creature's motives and capabilities, leading to a paranoia and mistrust among the expedition team. At its core, the film serves as a cautionary tale about the hubris of mankind and the consequences of tampering with forces beyond our comprehension. The Thing from Another World also explores themes of Cold War paranoia and nuclear anxiety, which were prevalent during the time of its release in the early 1950s. The alien creature can be interpreted as a metaphor for the existential threats posed by the nuclear arms race and the specter of atomic annihilation. Its relentless pursuit of survival and its ability to regenerate from seemingly mortal wounds nears the fear of a world on the brink of destruction, where the line between friend and foe is blurred and the concept of humanity is called into question. Then on a psychological level, the film dives into themes of isolation and claustrophobia as the characters find themselves trapped in a remote arctic outpost with a hostile alien presence lurking outside. The harsh, unforgiving environment mirrors the inner turmoil of the characters as they confront their own fears and insecurities in the face of imminent danger. This sense of confinement and vulnerability heightens the tension and suspense, creating a palpable atmosphere of dread, and it permeates every frame, especially in the second half of this film. Another theme that emerges is the resilience of the human spirit in the face of overwhelming odds. Despite the seemingly insurmountable threat posed by the alien, the characters refuse to succumb to despair, and instead they band together to confront this danger head on. This theme of solidarity and unity in the face of adversity speaks to the indomitable nature of the human spirit and serves as a source of inspiration for us facing our own personal challenges. The Thing from Another World is a richly layered film that explores themes of fear, paranoia, and resilience in the face of extreme threats. Through its allegorical storytelling and thought-provoking symbolism, the film offers a very poignant commentary on the anxiety of the time while still being relevant in today's world. It's a testament to the enduring power of science fiction to reflect the hopes and fears of humanity and to offer insights into the human condition. The cinematography and visuals in the film play a crucial role in creating the atmosphere of suspense and terror. First, the use of cameras effectively capturing the isolation and claustrophobia of the Arctic setting, wide shots of the desolate landscape surrounding the research base establish a sense of isolation and vulnerability, emphasizing the character's remoteness and their inability to escape the encroaching danger. Close-up shots are strategically employed during moments of tension to heighten our sense of intimacy with the characters, immersing us in the unfolding horror. Additionally, the lighting design, it enhances the film's mood and atmosphere with stark contrast between light and shadow used to create a sense of foreboding. Dimly lit corridors and shadowy corners within the research base evoke a feeling of unease, hinting at the lurking threat of the alien creature hidden in the darkness. Conversely, scenes bathed in harsh fluorescent light convey a sense of clinical detachment, underscoring the character's scientific curiosity and their struggle to comprehend the otherworldly menace they face. Visual effects are sparing in this film, but when they do appear, they contribute to the film's impact in significant ways. The design of the alien creature itself is a standout visual element, with its towering stature and menacing appearance instilling fear and awe in equal measure. The use of practical effects, such as elaborate makeup and prosthetics, adds a tangible realism to the creature's presence, enhancing its believability and the sense of threat it poses to the characters. One standout visual sequence occurs during the climactic confrontation between the humans and the alien creature, 
As the survivors battle the creature in the burning wreckage of the research base, the flames cast an eerie glow across the screen, heightening the sense of chaos and desperation. This juxtaposition of fire and ice, a striking visual contrast that symbolizes the clash between humanity and unknown forces of the universe, results in a visually stunning and emotionally resonant finale. The cinematography and visuals in The Thing from Another World are instrumental in immersing us in its chilling atmosphere of suspense and terror. Through innovative camera work, evocative lighting, and those striking visuals, the film creates a sense of unease and dread that lingers in our mind, cementing its status as a classic in the sci-fi horror genre. In The Thing From Another World, the sound design and music play crucial roles in building tension and enhancing the overall horror experience. First, the sound design effectively contributes to the film's atmosphere of suspense and dread. Ambient sounds such as howling winds, creaking floorboards, and distant echoes help to establish the remote Arctic setting, immersing us in the isolation and desolation of the research base. These subtle auditory cues create a sense of unease and anticipation, signaling to us that danger lurks beyond the safety of the base's walls. And the use of sound effects heightens the impact of any jump scares and thrilling moments throughout the film. Sudden bursts of noise, such as the clattering of objects or the roar of the alien creature, jolt us out of our seats and elicit visceral reactions of fear and shock. By strategically deploying these audio cues, the film keeps us on edge, never allowing us to fully relax as we await the next terrifying encounter. The film's music also contributes significantly to its horror experience, with an eerie and, sen and suspenseful score that amplifies the tension on screen. Haunting melodies and dissonant chords underscore moments of suspense, signaling the impending danger, and ratcheting up the intensity of the scenes. In particular, the use of low, rumbling tones and discordant instruments creates a sense of dread that permeates the entire film, foreshadowing the horrors to come and heightening our sense of unease. One notable example of the effectiveness of sound and music occurs during the scenes involving the alien creature. As the creature stalks its prey through the dark corridors of the research base, the ominous sounds of its footsteps reverberate through the soundtrack, creating a sense of impending doom. The use of these audio cues builds suspense and anticipation, lightening the impact of the creature's eventual reveal and ensuring that its presence is felt even when it remains unseen. The sound design and music in The Thing From Another World are essential components of its horror experience, working in tandem to build tension, elicit fear, and immerse us in its chilling atmosphere. Through subtle, ambient sounds, impactful sound effects, and a haunting musical score, the film creates a sense of unease and dread that lingers, cementing its status as a classic of the sci-fi horror genre. The pacing and editing of The Thing from Another World play significant roles in shaping the film's suspense and audience engagement. Let's start by talking about pacing. The film strikes a careful balance between moments of slow, atmospheric buildup and intense, action-packed sequences. This deliberate pacing allows the tension to simmer gradually, drawing us into the story and heightening our anticipation for what inevitably will come when we confront the alien menace. The slower moments, characterized by quiet conversations and eerie exploration of the research base, serve to establish the characters setting the mood, laying the groundwork for the explosive climax that follows. Conversely, the faster paced scenes, such as the frantic battles with the alien creature, inject bursts of adrenaline into the narrative keeping us on edge and ensuring that the film never loses its momentum. 
In terms of editing choices, The Thing From Another World employs a variety of techniques to enhance the overall flow of the film. One notable choice is the use of quick cuts and rapid pacing during action sequences, which heightens the sense of chaos and urgency. The rapid fire edits create frenetic energy that mirrors the character's panicked reactions to the alien threat, immersing viewers in a heart-pounding intensity of the moment. Additionally, the film utilizes clever editing to build suspense and anticipation during key moments of discovery and revelation. For example, the gradual reveal of the alien creature is orchestrated through a series of carefully timed edits and strategically framed shots. By teasing glimpses of the creature's grotesque form and preserving its full reveal for later in the film, the editing maximizes the impact of its eventual appearance, eliciting gasp and shock and awe from us when we finally see the menacing alien. The pacing and editing of this film are crafted expertly to maximize suspense, audience engagement, and emotional impact. Through a careful balance of slow buildup and intense action, as well as strategic editing choices that enhance the flow of the narrative, the film keeps us on the edge of our seats from beginning to end, ensuring a thrilling and immersive viewing experience. Now, when it comes to the scare factor and gore in The Thing from Another World, this 1951 classic will not rely heavily on graphic violence, but it excels in creating a pervasive atmosphere of tension and unease that keeps us on edge. One of the film's greatest strengths is its ability to balance suspense, jump scares, and the psychological horror to deliver an immersive and chilling experience. Rather than relying on excessive gore or cheap shock tactics, The Thing From Another World builds tension through suspenseful storytelling and the gradual escalation of the alien threat. Now don't get me wrong, I love a good gore fest, but there's something about the psychological terror here in this film, from the ominous discovery of the crashed spaceship buried in the ice, to the tense encounters with the hulking creature lurking in the shadows, The film skillfully ratchets up the fear factor with each passing moment, leaving viewers constantly on edge as they wait the next terrifying revelation. In terms of jump scares, while The Thing from Another World may not feature the sudden jolting commonly associated with modern horror films, it does employ a number of effective techniques to startle and unsettle us. Whether it's the sudden appearance of the alien creature bursting through a door, or the eerie silence that precedes its attack. The film capitalizes on moments of quiet tension and sudden bursts of action to keep us guessing and our hearts racing. As I mentioned, the film's psychological horror elements are perhaps its most potent source of fear. Through its exploration of themes such as paranoia, isolation, and that fear of the unknown, The Thing from Another World taps into deep-seated human anxieties and primal fears, evoking a sense of existential dread that will linger in you. By exploiting the fear of the alien other and the fragility of human civilization in the face of cosmic horror, the film resonates on a profound and unsettling level, leaving us with a lingering sense of unease that transcends mere scares or gore. So while the film may not feature the explicit gore or graphic violence of modern horror films, its masterful blend of suspense, jump scares, and psychological horror make it a truly terrifying and unforgettable cinematic experience through its skillful manipulation of atmosphere, tension, and thematic depth, the film leaves its mark on us, reminding us that sometimes the most terrifying monsters are the ones that lurk within the deepest, darkest recesses of our own human psyche. So to wrap it all up, 
The Thing from Another World is a timeless classic that continues to captivate us with its gripping storyline, compelling characters, and masterful blend of suspense and psychological horror. With its iconic creature design, chilling atmosphere, and thought-provoking themes, this 1951 gem remains a standout example of sci-fi horror cinema at its finest. And I believe it's only been outdone by its equally amazing remake, the early 80s John Carpenter classic, The Thing. Watch this first, then watch his. Look for the similarities and differences. Both wonderfully made movies. Now on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give The Thing from Another World a solid 8. While it may not be the most visually stunning or technically groundbreaking film, especially by today's standards, its impact on the genre and its enduring legacy cannot be overstated. For fans of sci-fi and horror alike, this is a must-watch that deserves a place in every cinephile's collection. I highly recommend checking out The Thing from Another World if you haven't already, or revisiting it for a nostalgic thrill if you're already familiar with the delights. And if you do decide to give it a watch, be sure to share your thoughts and recommendations with us. You can reach us at therealrealtalk at gmail.com or find us on Instagram and threads at realrealtalk. Now, before we sign off, I'm excited to tease the topic of our next episode. We'll be diving into the twisted world of the 1980 trauma film Mother's Day. Get ready for a wild ride filled with thrills, chills, and plenty of surprises. Until then, stay tuned, stay spooky. And thanks for listening.